I'm, um, I really like wilderness, but I really love bucolic. I use those two words on purpose. I like wilderness, I love where the hand of man is gently um, blended with nature, particularly traditional man and heritage human beings. I was painting these things that had lasted for a hundred years and it seemed if I painted something, it was a kiss of death. Because within the next 10 years, almost every single her human heritage I painted was bulldozed. Turned into clover leaves, turned into parking lots. Well, you know Joni Mitchell's song? You pave paradise and you put up a parking lot. That was, I've seen that happening in my lifetime. And of course, when I grew up, um, many, a huge percentage of Canadians grew up, lived on farms and had these wonderful treasures called barns. And they actually made them with their own hands from the local white pine trees and so on. Fabulous works of art that, that could last for centuries if they were cared about and respected and lived in. So I've got a hankering for that. I think, I think uh, you can call me nostalgia if you like, nostalgic if you like, but um, I think there's a lot of evidence that the way some of the world is going with for example, seven and a half hours a day our young people spend playing video games. And it doesn't augur well for the future. And the solid values that rested with our heritage in each one of those rails was made by a human being and there's never been two rails the same anymore and there's been two fingerprints the same or two zebra stripes the same. And this, this just caught my eye as I drove by in gently falling snow near where we lived in uh, Rockwood, Ontario.